Good morning. Um, I had a really good time last night. I saw Elijah and Zach from Anime Club. I was walking through so I didn't have to cross too many streets. And I was having a really good night and I got to talk to Doug and I was all happy. And I came home. Of course, I got home safely. I'm here. Came to my bed, took all my makeup and stuff off and went to sleep. But I'm going to show you the other thing I bought since it's not on my foot. It's this thing. So you put this part around your foot and you wrap this part around your toe. And wherever your bunion is, you put this little, you line up this circle bit. So this is the outside and this is flexible so it can fit most feet. And it's for moderate or mi mild to moderate um, bunion relief. I'm not going to show you my feet. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people are freaked out by feet, so I don't want to discourage anybody. And somebody, if, ah, oh, speaking of Doug, <laughs> hello. And, yeah, so I'm just starting my day. It's Saturday, May 9th, and I don't know what's going on today, but I know I can actually, you can actually follow me around the whole day today, because I don't have to go to work, so... I don't have to worry about not accidentally filming children or whatever. My throat does that. Does your throat do that? Where I just suddenly get really grappling. I don't know why it does that. <sighs> anyway, I'm off to find food. See you so, while. what I've learned, and I'm not naked. I have on a dress. A very not. <laughs> I might change later. Or I might just put a shirt on. Anyway, what I learned is if you had a night of drinking... It's fine. When you wake up, and you're fine, eat something before you take a Flintstones vitamin, because your body will reject that. And so I didn't lose alcohol or any food from the night before, it was just the Flintstones vitamin that I had, after it was not even partially digested. Yeah, I know that's gross, but that's what I learned. I also learned, from talking to my boyfriend, who I talked to last night while I was drinking, I picked up this. My room is a mess, I know. This is a broken curtain rod, which apparently, when I found it, I told my boyfriend that I found a magic golden scepter. <laughs> mom and I, here's mom, she's driving. Look at that, she drives. <laughs> And we are on our way to the store because mom needs some fabric and I'm getting out of the house. I changed my dress because my mother did not uh, want me to be in my other one with my bobets spilling out. Not to mention it was kind of ratty looking and she didn't want me looking like a ragamuffin before we went to the store. But yes, we're out and about and having a good time. For now. For now. And we're out of the store. We, when we first went into the store, uh, a little bit before, a little after one, like five after one, it's now 3.32. Um, when we first went into the store, there were people um, for support the troops in my town and we know two of the people who run the group, they live a few blocks away from us. And so we were buying stuff for the troops. We came out and the people were gone that we give it to. So we're going to have to wander over to their house and go, here you go. <laughs> Where they put together care packages and stuff. I saw that. What? I saw that. It was yellow. My mother purposefully sped up to get through the yellow light. She used to be afraid of driving and now she's <laughs> becoming a speed demon and just a dangerous road rage driver. No, I'm not. I was almost to the light. I figured I might as well go a little faster. This is a very amazing, you don't understand internet. My mother used to be in high school she was so afraid of driving um, she was taking me to school one day because it was so cold and we got 
in the car and we went one block as in I could turn my head still see our house and she took why is there there's this going on I don't know if you saw but there were like blankets over the street lights that was weird in the middle of my yeah, story they don't those ones aren't they just put those up they're not ready to go yet oh, I've never seen that before um, <clears throat> She was so afraid that we were that close to the house and she took her hands off the wheel and started having a panic attack from anxiety that she didn't know where she was. And now look at her speeding through yellow lights. You've come a long way, woman. <laughs> I wasn't speeding, I was just right Speeding there. up. Not, she wasn't going over the speed limit, but it's close. But so we got, I got sand for my kids, um, the stuff for our troops back there so that we can easily just grab it out. And we got some food and we got, we secretly got baby stuff because dad wasn't with us. So we got stuff for the baby shower because my father thinks we spent too much money up. The, um, our friend who's pregnant, she's the only one who we know that's having a baby that we're close to. I'm not having a kid anytime soon. So why not go all out? It's not like there's a million people pregnant that we personally know. We got home, we bought some subs, and so we ate those little bits of them because it had occurred to me when I got in the door that I had not eaten but a bit of cheese a couple hours ago of the whole day. So, and I had a one break of the Kit Kat that I had. And I'm having my water. And we're going to have to go soon. We're going to find out if um, our friend who runs the troop thing is home so that we can deliver our... Uh, I'm once again with my mother. <laughs> and we are going to get frozen yogurt. I'm so excited. I love Eva's frozen yogurt. I know the person who owns the business. I went to college with her. And her and her husband opened up a shop and named it after their three kids. Um, their initials together make Eva, and it's called Eva's Treats, and it is absolutely amazing, absolutely delicious. And we are going for the second time since the weather started warming up, but it's a frequent thing. Expect them a lot in the vlogs. I can't wait to take Doug. You're gonna love it, Doug. The frozen yogurt. We we got the smaller cups, but then we filled them up all the way. That that is just amazing. Those little balls are juicy bubbles of joy. It's what, what did you get, Mom? Pomegranate. No, no, I mean your yogurt. Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, and raspberry pomegranate tart, and some pomegranate chocolate popper, I mean, little balls. And I have some birthday cake, salted caramel, brownie, and some raspberry tart right there. So good. And the coolest thing is, the spoon starts out this color, but when you get it to touch the cold, it changes colors. And I'm here in this lovely area. Just look at this. Woohoo. Beautiful. I love this tree. Look at this tree. Very nice. But I am on my way to my university because I'm going to get my, alum my summer alumni pass to the recreation center. There's a nice big pool and with there being almost nobody else on campus, there are times when I'm in that pool all by myself. So it's like a very exclusive thing, even though I think anybody can get in there as long as you're a member. You used to be a part of the school, your faculty, or something like that, of course, on the university, so you have to be a part of it in some way. But during the summer, <coughs> with next to nobody, oh, I just love how it looks. And there's the big pendulum. I don't, I don't know why it's there. It was designed by one of the art students, this, this thing. It's supposed to move with the wind, so they put a giant one-ton ball on there. <laughs> that makes sense. Pretty though. Um, 
I was super excited because last summer it was $200 for the whole summer um, for the alumni and it was only 120 and when the guy at the counter I was asking for prices because I fully expected to increase and I was like if it's too much more than 200 I'm not gonna pay <laughs> but um, but he said 120 and I was like for the whole summer for alumni are you sure he probably looked at me like I thought it was too expensive but it was just it was so much less it's $80 cheaper than it was last year so I don't know why the price went down I'm very suspicious um, but it came with all the same stuff and benefits. Mm -hmm. I just want to get home because the sky looks, it's gotten a lot chillier. It was 85 or 90, which I know some people are like, oh, you're going to complain about the heat. FCA doesn't complain about heat. <laughs> or I rare, unless I'm sick, that's when I complain about being too hot. But this just looks so pretty. It was one of the benefits to going to school here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I just want to get home because the clouds, like I said, the sky looks a little threatening and it's gotten a lot cooler. So I want to get home before uh, the rain starts. Rain. That was the worst sign language for rain. So ever. mom is making a diaper cake for a baby shower we're going it's to next month. Cake. And it's a diaper arc, like Noah's Ark, because um, the theme is safari animals. So this looks so adorable. Okay, I am going to go to bed at, while I'm going to take a bath, and I'll talk to Doug for a little bit. But then I'm going to go to bed because my I want to take my contacts out. It's the end of the day, and... <laughs>